Hello, welcome to the Miami Beach Chamber of Commerce annual meeting. We have a special treat for you as we take a look back at our year in review as you experience the power of membership. I think the key and what we've really stressed at the Chamber and, and, and I've stressed is building relationships. At the Chamber of Commerce we all work together and it's been phenomenal. We've worked very hard at trying to connect people together to get them to the people that they need to meet. And the involvement of all the businesses here in Miami Beach to help promote Miami Beach and all the area has been phenomenal, very, very exciting. More and more businesses come to the Chamber and they come here for a reason. They come here because they get to learn about each other, they get to meet new faces and new people, and they get to hear what is going on in the city of Miami Beach. To me, the power of membership to meet the owner of Real Connects and now to be working with him on creating this is just incredible. And that's really what the Chamber does. It really connects people directly or indirectly to ensure that your business grows and we truly get the best value for our membership. Not only do you have the traditional networking aspect and passing around the business card and looking for business opportunities, but beyond that, it's the opportunity to meet people in the different segments of this community, political, civic, etc., that can help you with your business or help you even with your personal goals and the opportunity to then even get involved in other aspects of the community and promote it forward. Well, the power of the membership, I think, it goes two ways, on a personal level and the community level. On the community level, my wife and I get a chance to savor everything that the beach has to offer by going to the pillar dinner, the ambassador's dinners, the meet and greets. Through the chamber, you make personal connections. The relationships are fantastic because everybody's sort of in the same spirit of creating this sort of synergy that brings you know, the business community together towards the end of improving our community and giving something back. Miami is certainly you know, the hottest place in America right now and everybody wants to have a little bit of Miami and we are at the epicenter of that. When you take it to the leadership level, now you're being introduced to a whole different class of people. Now you're being introduced to the decision makers. I've been able to build relationships with CEOs and presidents and as a result it's really helped my business and that's been the most powerful thing for me being a part of the leadership is definitely beneficial so giving someone the opportunity to take a leadership role in the chamber to me is probably one of the most rewarding parts of being chairman of the board so many wonderful things happened at the chamber this year I can't begin to tell you but one of the best was being the recipient of the champion of business award and after so many years of living and working on Miami Beach, it really was a distinct honor. A year ago we started the Better Beach Awards and to really to honor the people that have made an influence in real estate in, and, and generally um, in Miami Beach. It gave us an opportunity to showcase the business and to really share this new opportunity with the real estate community. Well, this year, very exciting, we broke off a new group called the Women's Executive Forum, which is a group of C-level executive women comprised of women from the Board of Directors, from the Pillar Board, and just regular members of the Council. And we get together once a quarter. We have a fabulous lunch with a guest speaker. Those are the types of events that you realize how valuable your membership is here at the Chamber. You know, I've been involved across Dade County for a number of years. This is probably the single largest event for the single most successful, I think, chamber in, in, in South Florida. The turnout you get from political leadership, civic leadership, nonprofit leadership, obviously business and commercial leadership, and people come out to have a good time, continue to do some great networking, but to really honor the men and women across the city that uh, every day are doing great things in business, in commerce, uh, in social work, and obviously in government. And the in-card uh, celebrated its fifth year. And in celebrating its fifth year, just wanted to do something different. And basically, we had an indoor carnival. You know, think of an old-style carnival with little game booths that people knocked down milk cans or whatever it was. It was a really successful event. I was very proud to be a part of the committee. We had a great committee this year. The Pillar Breakfasts are one of the most, I think, beneficial events that we do as a chamber because we bring in some really high-profile guests. When we bring them together, we end up bringing a lot of high-powered professionals in the community together. So not only is it a great educational opportunity to hear from powerful people, whether politically or in business, but it's also an opportunity to network with some really powerful professionals as well. Well, this year, Mary Cruz, one of our members, uh, 
co-chaired the committee to set up the uh, Champions of Business Luncheon, and it was amazing. We had people lined outside dying to get in. But we had DJ Ree from The Heat, Jamal Mashburn, Rick Roth, everybody knows Rick. One of my personal favorites who gave up law and is now a chef is Anna Q. We have 40 to 45 members come to our meetings and we do great events. The idea is to have these new members become the future leaders of the chamber. I mean, it's amazing. You just look at the real estate luncheon alone. Last year, I think we had about 225, 250 attendees. This year, it was over 450, almost 500. Yes, and also bringing Paul Goldberger, the um, critic for Vanity Fair, to basically moderate this conversation was fantastic. You know, that he was able to sort of weave this very interesting intellectual conversation with leaders in their professions. I mean, we had visionary architects, we had landscape architects, we have city builder developers that are very engaged in the community, talking about their visions, what they're doing that makes a difference in the way that the city evolves. And I think that that's a great conversation to have because it's so exciting to see every day what we're doing to transform the city. The luncheon at the Epic was exciting. The, the Blue Man Group was phenomenal. And to get all the involvement of everybody was fun, exciting, and really brought us great energy. I want to thank everybody for what they've done over the past year. It's been a great year. I'm looking forward to the next two years and continuing this upward spiral of the Chamber. You know, the power of membership here at the Chamber is huge. So take advantage of it, I get engaged, and I look forward to seeing you at a future Chamber event or meeting. Thank you. Experience the power of membership. Welcome to Miami Beach. Everybody loves our beaches and nightlife. From Ocean Drive hotspots like the Clevelander to Mangos to live the number one nightclub in the world. And the world famous Joe Stonecrab. But did you know that Miami Beach has world class museums, theaters, and entertainment? Discover it all at MiamiBeachGuest.com. Plus, download our in-card app to get the best deals in town. Miami Beach, you're gonna love it.